It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. This week's tool is a tool that I use all the time, but I probably don't give it the proper credit that it deserves as a very useful tool. It's one of those tools that you probably don't ever think about. If you have one, you use it, you put it up, you don't really think about it. You know, it's not a drill or a saw, sheet metal break. It's not like some big fancy tool. But it's probably one of those tools that you use all the time. And if you don't have one, you could probably use one of these all the time. And that tool is a Dremel tool. Now, I'm sure all of you have heard of Dremel tools. They come in several different varieties. You have the plug-in variety like this. You have the cordless variety like this one here. So this one you just turn on and it's got like a variable speed. Batty operated, this thing is awesome. These Dremel tools some kits come with all kinds of accessories. If they don't come with any accessories, you can always buy accessory kits. So I've got this accessory kit here. It has an assortment of cutting and grinding and whatever you might need for a Dremel tool. Or you got them like this. Like I said before, this is one of those tools that you probably don't think about, whether you have one or you don't, as an essential tool. but. When it comes down to it, this thing can do work that really nothing else can do. When I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for this Friday's tool, I actually seen my cordless Dremel sitting in the floor by the Bibster and realized that I had just used it. And what I used it for was something that none of my other tools could do. And that was cutting some little tack welds loose on the Bibster when I was trying to fit the B pillar on that thing. I had tacked it up and it wasn't quite exactly where I wanted it. I needed to break those tacks loose, open it up and kind of grind a little bit more off and then put it back together and tack it back up. Well, could you use one of these? The problem with one of these though is it really takes out more material than you'd, you'd want for something like that. I needed something that was a little more precise in what it was going to do and only take out the exact amount of material that I needed taken out versus what this thing right here would do. The death wheel. So, that's where the Dremel came in. These Dremel tools have very, very little small mini death wheels, I guess. Mini death wheels, I guess you could call them. And so it was very nice, I could get in there, I could just take out the part where I had tacked it together. I didn't take out any other material that didn't need to come out. Not only that, the material that did come out wasn't very thick, it wasn't a very thick cut. It was a very thin cut. So when it came time to go back in there and weld it back up, it was a very easy process. I also recently used the Dremel when modifying my Glock. So I stippled the Glock. For all you gun guys, you understand what stippling is. Before I could stipple the Glock though, I had to take off all the factory finish, right? And kind of modify the grip, how I wanted it to be shaped, and that sort of thing. And that's where the Dremel came in. This Dremel made short work of that. I cleaned it all up really fast, shaped it very fast, and uh, was ready to stipple it. Shout out to Dumas Tactical. Anyway, like I said, the Dremel is one of those tools that you probably don't think about, but it is an extremely useful tool. It'll get you out of a lot of problems. It'll get you out of a Pinch. It'll help you get the job done when you need to get it done. You know what I'm saying? As I said, the Dremels come in a variety of styles. They come in a corded version, they come in a cordless version. I prefer the cordless version. 
It just seems a little easier to work with. Always got a battery on charge. As I always do, I'll drop some links in the description where you can go check them out. I mean, if you don't have the Dremel in your arsenal, it could come in handy. It could save you some time. All right, guys, there you go. This week's tool, the Dremel tool. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool.